So if I was to ask you a question and say, what do you think you know, an architect or designer looks like? What would you say? What the general public thinks an architect looks like. Yeah, I, I think for me, I, I think they've got this image probably of you know, middle-aged white bloke, probably quite quite posh, maybe um, wearing like bright pink trousers, something like that. And you glasses, know, kind of colourful glasses. glasses. Has yeah. to have glasses. Yeah, yeah. Has, has to have glasses. glasses. Exactly. And bumbling around on a yeah. sort of very old bicycle is what I, <laughs> is what I think. Yeah, uh, there are you know a lot of people probably do fit that stereotype, but I think that's probably the kind of the image that people have when they hear the word architect. Yeah. Yeah. So, so where does representation play in this in this game? All right, because if you're seeing a certain type of person or certain type of people in the position of an architect and interior designer, mm -hmm. do you think it opens the, the imagination of the youngsters, the, 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 the thought leaders of tomorrow? Do you think they see that and think, I can be that too, or maybe that's just not for me? I mean, I see it with my own reactions to stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, if I see somebody else doing something that I've wanted to do, then it kind of gives me um, a ticket okay. to go for it. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think, by us doing what we're doing and doing authentically with our own selves, there's going to be someone out there that is going to say, yeah, if she can do it, yeah. I can do it. We, we all design cities based to a certain extent on our own lived experience. Why would you have a group of middle-aged white men responsible for designing all the buildings in a city full of people from all backgrounds, all, you know, all genders, all ages? Certainly in a design sense, we know that when we have more diverse design teams. It leads to better places for everybody. I'm, I'm listening and I'm processing this. And for me, it feels as though it's like a, an obstruction to opportunity. You know, racism, sexism, sexuality, gender, classism, ableism. These are all the facets which, you know, work against someone becoming who they could be. Mm. And I think that the elephant in the room, whenever these things are brought up, is that, all right, we've spoken about it. We're gonna do something about it but it never happens to the, uh, the strength or fortitude that would actually make a solid difference. How do we incentivize the change? So coming through the industry as the only woman in a, you know, a room of yeah. 10, 15 professionals, I think there, there is a, a journey of change for everything. Yeah. And it starts from having to be pushy. And for me, being labeled the person that's asking the uncomfortable truths or being a bitch or being, you know, difficult. But I think there is no way around that to a degree. You know, people just won't listen. They don't want to, no one does. You know, and I know if I'm on the receiving end of somebody asking me to change something, of course I do, I, of course I need to change, then I, sometimes they just have to grill and grill and grill until they break through into me that I am, okay, okay, I'm going to listen to you. There's a way at problem solving the difficulties within the world, and that's, I've always said this, this is an architect, a designer's superpower, all right? <laughs> you see what's wrong, and you think of all of these, you know, lateral ways of thinking to come together collectively to resolve it. And we've seen what, you know, the impacts of culture does within this country. How can we not suggest that representation on all fronts yeah is going to bring us to a healthier yeah. space. Yeah. Our mental health is a sign of defiance that we can't take it anymore. And these questions attempt to audit our industry's culture for us to be architecture's beneficiaries. The possibilities are as endless as our imagination's accessibility to optimistic design or our ability to influence the plans reflected non-receptive minds, you decide.